Public Library today and I have three books for you. Count them. One and two and three. And maybe if you looked at all those books you might have realized that they have things in common but they have things that are different. That's right. Can you think of what the similarities are with them? Hmm. Can you think of what's different about them? Hmm. Let's see. Well, I'm sure there's lots of differences and similarities, but I notice one thing that's similar to all of these books is that they're all written by Mac Barnett and they're illustrated by John Classen. And there's another thing about them. They're also all published, it's a heavy book, by, by, they're all published by Candlewick Press. So we will thank them, yes, for letting us read it in quarantine. Whew. Lots of questions for you guys today. I hope that's okay. And I hope that we can start this and we'll ask a couple more questions too. And maybe some of those you'll have to think on your own. But this book is about a shape in this book is square. No! Triangle. Triangle. Tri oh, what was I thinking? Triangle. Thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's open it up and we'll find out that this is triangle. And this is Triangle's home. This is Triangle in his house. And this is Triangle's door. Makes sense, right? And one day, Triangle walked out his door and away from his house. He was going to play a sneaky trick on Square. He walked past small triangles and medium triangles and big triangles. And he walked past shapes that weren't triangles anymore. They were shapes with no names. He walked until he got to a place where there were what are those shapes? Squares. Yep, squares. Still thinking of his sneaky trick, he walked past big squares and medium squares and small squares. Until he got to Square's house. Now, said Triangle, I will play my sneaky trick. Okay. 
triangle walked up to Square's door and said, Hiss! Just like a snake. Square was afraid of snakes. Oh me, oh my, said Square. Go away, you snake. Leave my door. Hiss, said Triangle. Hiss, hiss. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, said Square. How many snakes are out there? Ten? Ten million? Go away, snakes. Triangle could not hiss anymore. He was laughing too hard. Triangle, said Square, is that you? Yes, said Triangle. I know you're afraid of snakes. I've played a sneaky trick on you. And Square ran after Triangle past small squares and medium squares and big squares. He ran past the shapes with no names, past the big triangles and the medium-sized triangles and the small triangles. to Triangle's house and right through his door. Almost. You are stuck, Triangle laughed and laughed. <laughs> then he stopped. His house was all dark. Triangle was afraid of the dark. It's too dark, said Triangle. You're blocking my light. Go away, you block. Leave my door. It was Square's turn to laugh. I know you're afraid of the dark. Now I've played a sneaky trick on you. You see, Triangle, this was my plan all along. But do you really believe him? Hmm. That's a question. Do you really believe him? Was that the plan all along? I don't know. I don't know. Should we try another one? Yes. And maybe we'll try this one. Which is, what shape is that one? about square. I know we already had listened to a story about square, but this is just a different one. This is, you know who, our friend Square. This is Square's cave. Every day, Square goes down into his cave and he takes a block from the pile below the ground. He pushes the block up and out of the cave. He brings the block to the pile at the top of the hill. This is his work. One day, while Square was doing his work, Circle floated by. <sighs> Square, said Circle, you are a genius. I did not know you were a sculptor. Ah, yes, said Square. What is a sculptor? A sculptor shapes blocks into art, said Circle. 
And yes, said Square, I see what you mean. Um, but he didn't really see what she meant. This is a wonderful sculpture, said Circle. It looks just like you. Square looked at the block. Yes, I suppose it is wonderful. Now, said Circle, you must do one of me. Oh, said Square. I will come back for it tomorrow. Goodbye, genius. Circle, said Square. I think I should tell you something. But she was already gone. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, said Square. He studied the block. I have to make this block look like circle, he said. Circle's perfect, so I must make this perfect. Square got to work shaping the block. Oh, crumbs, said Square. This is not perfect. Oh, dirt, said Square. This is much worse. He went back to work. He worked and worked and worked and worked. Ah, said Square. He had carved the whole block away. There was nothing left. He was surrounded by rubble. Whatever is the opposite of perfect, that is what this is. I must stay up all night and figure this out. No. Square fell asleep. Square is on the side sleeping. The next morning, Square woke up wet. He was despaired. What have I done? I push blocks. I do not shape them. I am not a genius. We've all been there. Hello, genius, said Circle. I am early. Oh dear, whispered Square. Are you finished, said Circle. Oh yes, said Square. I am finished. Circle peered down. Oh my, she said. It was beautiful. It was beguiling. It is perfect, said Circle. It is, asked Square. Yes, said Circle. You are a genius, said Circle. But was he really? Hmm. That's your question again. Was, was Square really a genius? Okay, you are ready for a third one, I'm sure, because this is the story of Circle. We need to learn more about Circle, don't we? Let's start it. Doesn't that look like a happy circle? Yes. Even if there isn't a mouth, I feel good about it. I bet you know what this is. This is a circle. This is circle's waterfall. One day, circle and square and triangle played a game near her waterfall. Here are the rules, circle said. I will close my eyes and count to 10, and you must hide somewhere. 
When I open my eyes, I will try to find you. And Square said, okay. Triangle said, neat. There's one more rule, said Circle. No hiding behind this waterfall. Square said, okay. Triangle said, why not? Because, said Circle, it's dark back there. Oh, that's right, I remember. Square said, okay. And Triangle said, I am not afraid of the dark. Hmm, is that true? Do you remember? Hmm. Circle closed her eyes and counted to ten. Ready or not, said Circle, here I come. When she opened her eyes, Square was just standing there. He pointed and said, Triangle went behind the waterfall. Circle sighed. I will go find him. Circle, said Square, you are very brave. I know, Circle said, and she slipped behind the waterfall. It was quiet on the other side of the waterfall. Circle called out, Triangle, Triangle, where are you? There was no no answer. Farther inside, there was not much light. Triangle, triangle, where are you? There was no answer. She went even farther. Until it was all dark. Triangle, said Circle, there you are. <gasps> Why do you always break all the rules? There was no answer. Why do you always spoil our fun? There was no answer. Why are you such a bad friend? There was no answer. I'm sorry, said Circle. I should not have said that. You are a good friend. You just made me worried. We love you, Triangle. Thanks, Triangle said. From behind her, Circle turned around and said, Triangle? Yes, said Triangle. I'm sure glad to see you and Square. Circle said, Square is outside. This is not Square. I thought it was you. No, said Triangle. That was not me. No, said Circle. Oh, said Triangle. And Circle turned back and faced the shape in the dark. What are you? She asked. There was no Ah, said Triangle, and Triangle and Circle ran away very fast, back through the dark. Back through where there was not much light. Back through the waterfall, back to the outside. Square was waiting there for them. They told him what had happened. Well, Square said, I'm glad I stayed here. And Triangle said, now I'm afraid of the dark. Circle looked back at the waterfall falling. You know, she said, that shape in the dark might not have been bad. It might have been a good shape. We just could not see it. Circle closed her eyes. I wonder, Circle said, what kind of shape was it? Then they all closed their 
eyes. And they each pictured a shape. If you close your eyes, try it. What shape do you picture? Hmm. That's a very good place to end a story because your shape might be very different than somebody sitting next to you or someone else reading this book. Lots of different shapes out there. I have the shape that I'm thinking, but I might not tell you. It might make you think differently of your shape. I hope you liked those shapes about the story of, what's this shape? Triangle. And you like those shapes. I hoped you liked those books and I you know you can find them here at our library if you come and get them. Otherwise, we'll see you at the farmer's market at 11 a.m. on Saturday on the Village Green. We've got more stories for you there and we hope to see you and we only have two more weeks of virtual story time before we start getting involved in all of our summer reading program activities. So hopefully we'll see you outside and we'll definitely see you next week. So with that, we'll say bye-bye.